Hello, fellow stampers. I wanted to show some really neat cards that I was working on this week with um, a different type of uh, paper, wood veneer paper that I found. Um, so let me start off by showing you this. I purchased this, uh, it's wood veneer collection. This is their um, cherry wood. It is real cherry wood that has been um, made into like a cardstock. And I purchased this for a, a different project that I might do a video on a little bit later um, just to show what that project was that I wanted um, the outside of it to have this um, natural wood grain. And so I found this on Amazon and I only needed a couple of sheets of it. Uh, so I have this package left and over the weekend, I got to looking at it and thought, wow, let's see what kind of um, cards they would make. So I uh, played around with them and it turns out that it die cuts beautifully. I was actually really surprised at how well the die cut um, came out with it. And you can see here, I used a, a die cut pattern and then just simply attached this to a black base card and put my white cardstock on the inside and you can see that beautiful wood grain on there so i was really really surprised uh how beautiful that that cut out so then i had this very very intricate die cut feather and went ahead and uh, what i would recommend if you're going to try this when you have die cuts that are uh, this delicate and have this much detail to it what I did is I put this uh, wood veneer on a full uh, sticker sheet first and then did the die cut so that you could just peel off the back of it and not have to worry about trying to get glue in all of these little areas. If um, any of you are interested in what I am referring to, please leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to do a how-to video on, on how I use those uh, 12 by 12 sticker sheets. Uh, but I would recommend it, but I really liked how it kind of has this almost enlaved or engraved look. Um, and then I did the same with the hello. I did not color it, change it in any way because it is real natural wood. Um, the wood is different um, colors and textures. And so it just kind of shows up on its own, that natural look on there. Um, so super, super pretty. I really like how that turned out. This one's super basic. This was just a cut apart that I had left over that um, I just kind of grabbed out of my stash. Um, nothing overly fancy, but I still like just kind of the texture and how that turned out. But then I got into, well, what would it look like if I embossed it? And so I grabbed one of my embossing folders and ran, ran the, um, veneer cardstock through my embossing folder and man oh man do I love that look how pretty that turned out and then I have that hello cut out again with it and then just used some um, foam tape to pop that up but I really love how that embossed so in this one I wanted to see okay well how does it respond with ink and so I went ahead and stamped out this flower and then used my die cut. I did use that same kind of ink on the wood side for this little square to stamp out this little um, saying here. But what I found, and as you can see here with the flower, because it is real wood, it did absorb the ink and kind of spread it out. And uh, after letting this little piece sit for a couple of minutes, it bled to the point where you couldn't really read some of the more finer words here. So I ended up flipping it over. This is the back side of, of that veneer. Um, I have a piece here I'll show you. So this is what the front of it looks like and how thin it is. And then the back side is smooth and just more like a regular cardstock side. And so I ended up flipping it over, just re-stamping my saying and then using that side. So just be aware if you are going to stamp with inks that it will bleed. 
um, like it did here on the flower. And then I have this little example here. I still like this. I still will probably use this on another project, but you can just see how the uh, wood really, really absorbs that ink and kind of bleeds it out a little bit. Um, and then I, um, instead of using any kind of uh, foam tape or foam um, dots to raise this up, I went ahead and used my die cut to cut out, um, I think I have three or four of um, the black just with the, just using the die cut, um, cut out the black cardstock and then glued all those layers together and used that to raise up those little images there to kind of make them pop up a bit. And I did offset it on purpose just so you could kind of see that little black outline. I really like how that turned out. And then I went back to, cause I just, I really love how this embosses. Um, it's, it's just so pretty and so cool. And then I did the same thing here with the hello. I went ahead and cut out the hello with the black um, a couple of times, glued them together. Again, if it's confusing on what I mean and you want a little more detail and an example of how I did this um, popping up designs without foam, um, then go ahead and leave a comment down below and then I'll make a how-to video on how I do that. Um, but I'm just, I, I'm loving this embossing look on this wood. And so this was the other half of, of that piece here. I think I have it upside down, there we go. And then I cut out a couple of roses and I just, I'm in love with how these cards are turned out. Let me get that back in the frame there. So pretty. All right. And so this one, again, was just playing around with um, different dies that I had. It gave, I had bought this die set some time ago and um, had never used it. And so I thought, well, now I need to try it out uh, since I was just playing around with different stuff. And this one, I think, was my husband's favorite. He really liked how this one turned out got a lot of compliments from him on this one so then I was just kind of looking around at what other stuff I have that I haven't really that I purchased I haven't really played with a lot and I have this holographic paper here that is it comes in a 12 by 12 uh, sheet of paper I got it through close to my heart and I went ahead and ran this through my die machine. Um, again, attached it to a full uh, double-sided sticker sheet, ran it through the die through, and then just peeled that off and attached it to the wood veneer and then cut it down to size to be able to attach to the card. And so I really, really like that as well. I just love how the holographic paper just pops right off. And if you can see there in the camera, the uh, wood grain that's showing up behind it, it's just really, really cool. So um, I will say that this is not, is not going to be um, super inexpensive. Um, for the kind of crafting, I'm always looking for bargains and for sales, but um, the project that I wanted this for, um, I went ahead and splurged and decided just to go ahead and um, buy it. I think the, it's 10 sheets. I got it on Amazon. I think I paid around $24, $25 for it. Probably could have gotten it cheaper if I had really done my homework and searched other places, but I wanted it quickly. Amazon got it to me the very next day. I was able to finish up the project I was working on. So it was pricey, um, but I'm going to uh, use it for several other projects, especially now that I know how well that it embosses and um, cuts out with those die cuts. Um, so I just wanted to come on here really quickly and show that, um, yeah, we need to expand out what we're what we're crafting with outside of just plain cardstock um, and pattern papers. I'm really liking that wood grain, guys. I think I might kind of invest in a couple of other different colors and, and have a play with it and, and see what happens. All right, so if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the like button. And like I said, if I have any techniques on here that I've tried to explain that I'm not explaining very well and you actually want um, 
a demo video on how I did it, please leave a comment below and I'd be happy to make a video on um, how I do different things like that. And all right, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time.